Just over a decade ago, Silverton shook up the competition with a new approach to yacht design, their Sidewalk Series. This week on Foodytis, we're going to take a look at a 2001 410 Sport Bridge that was manufactured from 2001 through 2004. There is no mistaking the lines of a Silverton sidewalk. The lines rise from the stern, curving and flowing down to the bow, with the expanse this creates in the cabin side dominated by the large salon window. The 410 sports a large integrated swim platform and a cockpit large enough to party. The hatch reveals a small fish box and access to the lazarette. The transom locker hides all of the hookups and swallows a pile of gear to boot. Access to the 410's bridge is up a set of wide molded steps. The massive helm is forward to starboard, which makes backing into a slip a challenge. The clean, well-designed helm sports the best in electronics and controls available in 2001. The double helm seat flips open to reveal storage, and more space can be found under the aft seats and the lounger to port of the helm. Rounding out the bridge amenities are a refreshment center and a sun pad with a solid safety rail aft. For crew, which is usually your significant other, the sidewalk steps to the foredeck are as easy and secure as it gets. At the bow, these models were built with massive anchor lockers and a standard windlass with foot pedals. While the design of the sidewalks are absolutely great for moving forward on this boat, it's in here that that design feature is really felt, where it opens up the salon to the full beam of 14 feet 3 inches. The space is tastefully done in wood paneling with light carpets and upholstery. Large windows flood the space with light. A single recliner and corner sofa with integral sofa bed allow you to zone in on the entertainment system in comfort. Two steps up is a well-equipped galley and a facing dinette that benefits from the expanse of glass. A curving companionway leads below to the master berth. An island berth dominates the forward master stateroom, which sports plenty of lockers. There is private access to the shared head with a separate shower compartment located on the port side. A small but nicely appointed guest cabin rounds out the accommodations. Access to the well-laid-out engine room is something that most of us wish our own boats had. Getting underway, the twin Mercruiser 8.2-liter Horizon Blue Waters work hard but did push the 410 to a top speed of 18.7 knots. As fits its size, the ride was smooth and soft while the turns were stately. But slow and steady is really the order of the day with a 28,000 pound cruiser with gas power. Back in 2001, a Silverton 410 could cost as much or more than the competitors depending on how you had it optioned. But if you've always dreamed of having a large cruiser that's almost as big or bigger than some condominiums, a Silverton Sport Bridge may scratch that itch. 